In this video, we will perform whole number subtraction using a number line. Here we are given the subtraction problem 7 minus 5. For review, the first number in a subtraction problem is called the menu end. In this case, 7 is the menu end. The second number in the subtraction problem, or the value we are subtracting, is called the subterhand. In this case, 5 is a subterhand. The result of the subtraction is called the difference. To use a number line to model subtraction, we first model the menu end, or in this case, seven. To do this, we start at zero and move right seven units to seven on the number line. From here, because we are subtracting five, we want to decrease seven by five, which means from seven, we need to move left five units on the number line. So counting to the left five units, we have one, two, three, for five units to the left, which brings us back to two, which is the difference. But normally what we will do is just draw one large arrow showing the subtraction. So in this case, we would draw an arrow from seven back to two. So let's go ahead and erase our work along the number line here. We now know seven minus five equals two. There are also several other ways to interpret the meaning of the subtraction equation. We can view this as seven decreased by five is two, five subtracted from seven is two, as well as five less than seven is two. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have 12 minus eight. We first model 12 on the number line by starting at zero and moving 12 units to the right to 12 on the number line. From here, because we are subtracting eight from 12, or decreasing 12 by eight, we need to move left eight units from 12. So counting to the left eight units, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which brings us to four on the number line, which is the difference. But again, let's go ahead and draw one large arrow from 12 back to four showing the subtraction. 12 minus eight equals four. For the last example, we have 22 minus 14. We first model 22 on the number line. We need to be careful here. Notice how there are labels every five units and tick marks every unit. So if we start at zero and move right 22 units, we would be at 22 on the number line which is here. And let's go ahead and label this 22. Because we are subtracting 14, we want to move left 14 units from 22. Let's go ahead and show our work along the number line. Moving to the left 14 units, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Notice how this brings us back to eight on the number line, which is our difference. But again, let's go ahead and draw one large arrow from 22 to positive eight, showing this subtraction. And we can go ahead and erase our work along the number line. We now know 22 minus 14 equals eight. Where again, 22 is the menu end, 14 is the scepter hand, and eight is the difference. I hope you found this helpful.